Uh, Tim, before you begin, the people who started, who signed up to be in your group are Hannah's son, oh, no. Taylor oh, Madrid, this all can be pleased. Connor Cheadle and Dylan Robinson Ruiz. Uh, really? We need to make certain that we follow the rules of sign up. Because they're like, <laughs> 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 you know what it takes for people to get there. If you haven't seen it, you as board chair have the opportunity to make a decision to allow students of our school district to speak. And Thank you, Ms. Elkin. They have something to say. Thank I you, Ms. Elkin. Is Hannah Sun here? The courtesy of speaking, Mr. Wynn. Mr. Police, you have two minutes as an individual speaker. I apologize for bringing this up. I was again uninformed, so I guess I'm just duty for me. So once again, censored by this Board of Education as my time is spent despite the fact that you have to do it. Let him speak for five minutes. It's the least you can do. Let him speak for five minutes. Alliance, and if you truly believe in diversity and you truly believe in diversity, I truly believe the rules apply to everyone. Ms. Neal, two minutes for an individual speaker. Allow our students to speak and show some respect to the chair of the Board of Education. Two minutes. Um, yeah, two minutes for thank you. individual speaker. Thank you for my speech. Anyone who wants to hear my full speech, please join me in the lobby after public comment. And please do submit it to the desk if you feel like there's majority of the talk. That's a joke. My name is Tim Chalais. In the past, I've had the honor of addressing this board as a member of Jethro Students for Change, something I am grateful for and continue to do in the future. However, tonight, I will address this board on a much more personal level as two employees. A high school student sad by the recent discriminatory remarks posted. Today we gathered outside the building in silence. That silence is to portray the silence of millions of LGBTQ students felt throughout this country. That silence was supposed to be heard on April 17th. April 17th is the day of silence, the day of tribute to all of those who did the silence that I once did. To all those who have been so scared that they had to put on a face to hide the waterfall of tears coming down because they could fight back the very person they are because they felt wrong. And the countless others who still feel the grip, heard that grip is oppressive silence that binds them down in ways no one can see, keeping them quiet, forbidding their existence, forcing them into a life of lying to themselves every day when they wake up and the fear they see when they look at their own reflections. They your silence is for them. So that as long as we live in silence, they're not alone and we stand with them. Unfortunately, I will have to cut the next part of my speech. Today, I brought with me some gifts to the Board of Education regarding discrimination. First, this is the U.S. Department of Education's non discriminatory notice. Second, is Title 20 of the Education Amendments of 1927. Third, Colorado's Anti Discrimination Act. I encourage the board to read them. On April 17th, or on April 15th, the Solidarity of Day of Silence was desecrated. Board of Education member Julie Williams posted on her Facebook an article by a known hate group instructing everyone to could not go to school, something she was supposedly against back in September. Once again, breaking the fragile trust between this Board of Education and its increasingly alienated student body. But Thank you, Mr. Police. She did not uh, to trade the trust with the students who supposed to Thank you, Mr. Police. She directly violated the safety and her Mr. Safety Police. and my feeling of personal safety. Ms. Williams, school is supposed to be a safe place. It is not a place. It is not a place we are we are supposed to feel scared of who we are. It is not Mr. Place Police, the rules apply to you as well. Relax. It is not a place where we should feel isolated, alone, frightened, betrayed, or oppressed. It is not a place where students should feel bullied by adults. The only people they can look up to. Sadly, a lot of children will never feel human in their own skins, their own homes, with their own families. Thank you. But school, Mr. Cameron. School is supposed to be safe. 